Hi fellows and welcome back to Old Trusty part number 9 and in part number 8 we've built these support brackets for the front part of the cabin and in this video we'll start mounting and welding them in place and we will also then start spacing the cabin. But before we start uh, working on all that I really want to thank somebody really special and you ain't gonna believe it but I've got by post a nice parcel from Mike. So Mike, thank you so much. So let's have a look what's inside. And he's given me a, a pretty nice note, you know, to encourage me to carry on with Old Rusty. So Mike, don't worry about it, I will. But let's see what's inside. Look at that. Isn't that nice? This is a model of Old Rusty. So let's see if I can open it up. Wow, that's really a nice present, isn't it? I mean, I you don't expect this kind of things on YouTube, but things do happen. So Mike, thanks again for this very nice uh, present. And, and maybe I can look at the details, trying to figure out on how I have to weld all the things back together. So now, let's get on welding. So let's start uh, welding and I have the bracket clamped into place um, and I'm going to fill out the holes that we drilled out before. Remember when we drilled it out, the spot welds, those are the ones that I'm going to fill up. Um, but I have to make sure that the cabin is perfectly horizontal and that's why I'm using a builder's laser for that. And that will allow me to make sure that the cabin is absolutely horizontal because you know these brackets are important because it is my reference so let me move up the laser a bit there we go and see if that cabin lines up nicely and there we go so I don't know if you can see it guys but the laser is right there underneath this piece of metal and it's also uh, over here right underneath that piece of metal uh, I already kind of adjusted these bars beforehand so we, we don't waste too much time on it so now with the cabin in place I need to take some measurements at the inside to make sure that these the old bracket or the new bracket is in the same place as the old one so I'm going to be using a MIG for this kind of job and also for the bodywork inside the, ca inside the cabin itself I will be using a, a MIG because it's a bit more forgiving than a TIG uh, the welding is not as clean as a TIG but it's easier, so I'm all for easiness. I made a template to strengthen further the support at the inner side of the cabin. Uh, so now um, I'm going to drill some holes in it so I can spot weld it. And I already marked him, so that shouldn't be too much of a job to do. It almost looks like a Swiss cheese, but I'm going to fill up all these holes uh, with spot welds. So the last thing on this part is uh, we need to bend it along this line uh, so then I can nicely fit it inside the support. But first, a bit of tea. And that's it. That's the part we will fit at the inside. So here's a piece uh, we just made, so let's see if we can fit it and then mark it uh, where it's supposed to sit. You like my mini pliers? So 
So let's uh, put the first bottle up and then we'll see how it goes. Um, but it should be working quite smoothly, I would think. I'm just going to tag it in place a bit. So, we've got the bracket welded in place, it's all set and done, uh, it looks pretty good and solid. We also did the enforcement here, uh, extended this uh, little bend, so that looks good, uh, the spot welds are good. Um, but this little piece here is the first thing i got to do now, I'm not going to paint it yet because first I need to do this. And this part, well, it's not going to be that hard, but I'm not going to do the cutout, I, I can't see the reason why I would do that. I'm going to go for a flat plate and I'll probably take a bit of a thicker steel as well than this one. So uh, let's get on with it. But the first thing will be trying to get it out of this one because all these screws are really rusted away so I will have to drill them out. So let's uh, quickly sandblast it a bit so we can weld on it. Okay so that looks good so um, let's make a model and see how it fits. It's always good to make a cardboard model uh, like this one and I already pre-fitted it and I cut it so now I just need to place it on a metal sheet and then just cut it out and then I should be okay. So I'm going to do the bend and this also will be a bend and then I will create some tunnels on this uh, because that will make it stronger. So let me cut it out and then see where we go. So this was our cardboard mold and this was the original plate and you can see how badly it was. Now I have built already a new plate and bended it. I mean I didn't show you all the bending but it's standard bending. Now you're probably gonna say that's not the same model and you're absolutely right. It is not the same model. However um, I've taken the right dimensions, but what I'm not going to do with the new plate is cutting a hole in it like this one. And that's what they used to do, um, and they still do. So you put, a, you press a profile in the plate, you cut a hole and then you bend it around it so it, it creates more strength. Uh, I'm not going to do this, that would take me too much work. I, I could build a metal block and press it, but I don't think that's necessary, not for this place. Instead, I'm going to use a much thicker uh, piece of metal, as you can tell, and I already bend it into shape and it will go in here like, like so. And then I will weld it in place and I also will weld an extra enforcement bar onto that, uh, like, like this. So that will really be uh, strong, much stronger than the original one. I know that it's not the original guys, but I don't really care too much about that. This is an area you won't see because I most likely will blank all this off with polished aluminum, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, that's something for later when I do the upholstery. But for right now, um, this will just do the job and this is so much stronger than actually uh, this flungy plate, what they used before. So um, I'm gonna go and weld this on here and then we mount it in place. So like I said, uh, we're going to weld this bar in place and I already marked it. Um, so now I'm just marking some additional holes that I will drill for spot welding. So that you won't see any welds on this piece of metal basically. Uh, the bar won't come on this side, it will come on this side. And that's how I'm going to weld it in place so it will give extra strength to this panel. So we've got, uh, I have the holes drilled, I'm just going to take the edges off now. And uh, we're going to place it at the inside, like so. But before I place it, I will clean up this side because that's where I need to weld. And clean metal is very important for weld. And just make sure it's at the same distance 
as initially planned. Just gonna mark it. So let's put a clamp up. So now I can start welding uh, these spot welds. All right, so we've got the panel ready and we welded in place the extra support. So now it's just a matter of fitting it and marking a few more holes for spot welds um, and I will do a couple of them uh, maybe one here and one there and I do one more here on this side and probably I'll do one more on that side and one on this side so these will be additional spot welds that I will place and I'll do one over there as well so let me drill the holes now and then we'll actually weld it in place. So we clamped the panel in place uh, now we are ready to weld it. Uh, we'll do some spot welds and also some solid welds on the other side. So um, that should fix that problem. And then we can do the other side. But first we need to weld this in. So let me start welding. All right. And now we need to do a couple more welds on the other side. So guys that looks uh, pretty good now I'm gonna clean it up and put some spray on it so it can't rust I won't put the um, plastic around or the gummy stuff around the edges yet uh, like you see in new cars that's something I will do afterwards once we're finishing up the cabin but right now uh, I think this whole side looks a lot better than what it was so let me now clean it up and then spray it so we are finished, so now uh, we're going to spray this with the zinc spray so it cannot corrode before we do the full cabin finish. Um, Alright fellows, uh, we are done for tonight. Uh, it's quite late already and um, it's time to go to bed. Um, but we finished up the bracket support bracket uh, we also finished up the support here we added this new panel on the side so now the door pillar is solid again so in essence i'm ready on the right hand side now to create the new sill now i would like to thank mark because he's mailed me a lot of good pictures of one of his cabins that he has in his yard which he's going to rebuild and it gives me a pretty good idea on how these cells look like because without his pictures i wouldn't have been able to align this properly so mark uh, thank you again um and for the rest um yeah i need to do the other side exactly the same way and then um, the cabin will have moved forward quite a bit so again fellows thank you for viewing and keep on watching i'll see you in part number nine i guess uh, next time bye bye